Welcome to our channel. My name is Yvette and this is Tyler. Come along with us as we sail the high seas or hit the open road while we navigate and explore this beautiful planet our way. Welcome back to our channel. After a longer than expected voyage to the US, we're now able to clean and tidy our boat along with packing the essentials that we'll need to bring with us to Florida. So we loaded up the rental car with all of our stuff and hit the road. We had to drive down to St. Augustine where the RV was being kept in a storage facility to rent an Airbnb, do some repairs, and make it back within a week in order to move the boat from the marina to the haul-out location. We decided to rent an Airbnb here in St. Augustine. The empty garage is perfect. It allowed us to spread out and set up a shop to do all the renovations on the top of our list before we hit the road. The trucks were notorious for having underpowered headlights, so the previous owner installed these not-so-attractive LEDs. We wanted more of an OEM look. So we order new headlight lenses and also LED headlights. It's a pretty straightforward swap. While I had it apart, I did some paint touch-up work and wiring and also swapped out the park lights. The finished product is on the top. So this is me filming the interior of our safari trek. It's a little bit junked out. There's a lot of furniture, it's super dated, and I wanted to take good documentation of how this looks before we get started. There's going to be lots of cleaning and decluttering in my future. We have big plans for this beauty, and I'm excited to show the before and afters. Stick around. One of the known issues we had to fix before getting on the road and common problems with RVs in the late 90s are the double pane windows failing. So what we had to do was remove them from the coach in order to remove them from the frame to make the repairs. Once the window's removed from the RV, you have to open up the frame and gently take it off to gain access to the window. Once you have the window out of the okay. frame, carefully put it down on a work surface and then spray it with glass cleaner to run a razor blade to cut open the window. Once you break the seal and separate the two panes of glass, separate them making sure you have your insides marked and then trim off the excess glue Clean the window because you only have one shot at it before sticking it back together and then reseal it. Once you have the window resealed and reassembled, be sure to run a good bead of silicone on the body, otherwise it'll leak every time you go through the car wash. Then reinstall the window. It usually works best with two people, so one person can hold the window tight against the frame while the other screws it in from the inside. It's even more helpful when they're beautiful. One of the changes that I want to make is removing these valances. I think that they're really dated. I don't care for the colors or the two-tone. I think they're kind of grimy and kind of a magnet for germs and whatnot. So I wanted to take them down. Now, Tyler had the good idea of removing the fabric off of them so then we can treat the wood, reuse the wood, and put them back up, maybe paint it depending on the condition of the wood. 
as you know, we've been working on our windows here, so we had to remove the valance from there, and we can get a closer look at the condition of the wood. Good enough to, you know, take off this foam piece, the fabric, and judge this up a bit to give it a, a nice clean look. Wanted to give a progress report on these window coverings. You can see I've taken some of the foam off. The wood is decent. It's really thin and kind of like splintery, but I would like to preserve it. One, because then we don't have to buy more wood and cut it and go through the effort, but we can also reuse what's there. So I'll probably, you know, I'm just trying to take the material off. I'll have to sand it and then we can paint it. But I still have to do this one. One big advantage to motor work on the RV versus the boat is you have all the room in the world to access the motor, which is a pleasant change. Here we are just doing new spark plugs, new spark plug wires, new distributor cap, and rotor. When we bought the RV, it came with a really dated system for stereo and backup camera. So I took the dashboard apart, reconfigured the holes, and added a new in-dash unit that was all in one for stereo and backup. So Tyler's replacing the backup camera and the camera that came out. <laughs> we were saying that it literally looks like something from like an old spy movie or like in the early 90s, like at the bank. Not so incognito, but the new camera will be really nice. So this is in our bathroom here the back of the bus and uh, there's the the spot where the camera's gonna go and this is the exterior right up here above our bears that's the little hole that Tyler is working in to add the new camera which will be nice for backing up especially if I'm driving <laughs> early morning drop-off we're getting new shoes. Put on Miss Goldilocks here. Tyler ordered the tires here and they're gonna be replacing them. Okay. Captain and I are on the move. We are leaving Jacksonville, Florida and we're heading to Charleston South Carolina heading to a RV campground to spend our first night here in Goldilocks uh, on our way to Virginia. So we're very excited to, for one, this is my first time being in here sitting as a co-captain, co-pilot, and uh, yeah, it's fun. I'll give you guys a view, but it's like nose to the road, big windows, bright and sunny, and very comfortable, very excited. And just a short 100 miles later, we're back at Discount Tire for a new tire. One of our inner dually tires had blown out, but luckily they were able to get a new tire installed and get us back on the road. We made it back to Virginia on time to finish cleaning the boat and get it to the dry dock. In order to make it to the marina, 
we had to cross under the Hampton Roads Bridge Tunnel. Now this tunnel goes underwater, which was a first for me. This bridge tunnel goes 60 feet underneath the water to make it to the other side. Pretty impressive engineering if you ask me. After parking the RV and finding a good spot for Goldilocks, we're making our way back down the dock which is rather long, as you can see, to make it on board Tootsie Marie. We have lots of work to do to get her prepped to haul her out of the water. So next week you'll be watching us prepare our boat for the haul out. In the meantime, we're enjoying this beautiful view and we hope you are as well. Thank you for following us on this journey. There's many more projects in our future. Have a great week.